hi guys welcome back to my channel it's glory here <laughs> the comforter storyteller and you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome please do well to turn on your notifications so that when i post new videos you can get them right on time right so most of my videos will be premiered so you can get notifications when i post new videos and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for sharing the videos and thank you for your comments please leave a comment on this video watch till the end and i'm sure that it's going to be a huge blessing to you so let's step so, right into the video today we're talking about love particularly our love for god and this thing has been laid in my heart since i think february um so i want to share it now from the title of the video is already obvious what to do when you love me okay maybe not so obvious but then uh, i think it's talking about help me my love meter is low so when you find out that your love meter is low what do you do and how do you find out at first that a lot of things is going wrong so now um i want to start like this in our relationship with love and eh, with god sorry yes with love <laughs> in our relationship with god it's not powered by our strength right we are strengthened by the spirit of god that lives on our inside so it's the spirit of god that bears witness with our spirits that we are the sons of god and that spirit is what helps us to you know obey god helps us in obedience to god so when god instructs us the spirit of god you know enables us to follow that instruction which is contrary to what our flesh would normally want now our flesh has a lot of desires that are contrary to the will of god but then the spirit of god helps to modify those desires and helps us to be awake to righteousness that is you are more quickened to be god which means you are strengthened to be god right so and then secondly i would like to say that our relation all this relationship is powered by love right it's not something that comes out so out of compulsion compulsion may start your journey maybe you were being forced to read the bible to pray but as you go on you find out that it eases out to a dimension of love that is everything you now do is because you love god yes the bible tells us that we love him because he first loved us so it is the love of god that compels us that constrains us that make us do the things we do right that helps us to obey god to pray to communicate with god to read our bible to go out and preach the gospel it is the love of god love is the strongest sponsor of our faith right it's the only thing that keeps us going the fact that i love this person when you're talking about jesus to somebody it is that love that compels you right it is the love that helps you to be able to communicate that ah, this is somebody that i've come to love and then i want you to have him too have you are you born again and then you can literally preach to that person you get so our walk in god is sponsored by the love that we have for god and it love in our hearts is not something that just came to us naturally the bible says that we love him we have the capacity to love him because he first loved us now as we start in this journey in, in love with god and in love for god a lot of things happen along the way and that is what we're talking about today what do you do when you realize your love meter is low and to know this to to know what to do i will mention the things to do but then you need to be able to identify when your love meter is low so i'm going to be mentioning few things that from experience i've um realized that happen whenever um, our love meter is low it's not just about the absence of prayer of course that is it when you find it hard to communicate when you find it hard to um to, to 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 read your bible i'll get to that but then it's not just about that those things are just like okay for instance if you if you're sick in the physical there are a lot of symptoms that will come along but those symptoms are, are not what exactly is wrong with you for instance you might be getting weak you might lose your appetite you might a lot of things might get wrong but then until you get to the hospital and then they're able to check they find out that there's an underlying sickness or something is wrong or you have this flu or that flu before you realize what exactly is wrong it's the same thing in the um in the spiritual in the spiritual when you are not healthy spiritually a lot of symptoms begin to come up one of the symptoms is that you you you, you stop praying when you find out that you stop praying you find it hard to communicate with god it's so hard it's so hard it shows that spiritually you are not healthy it, it, something is going on in your spirit that is making you unable to connect with god right so when you find it hard to pray when you find it hard to read your bible when you find it hard to do scriptures to obey scriptures you are you find it extreme even when god is you know speaking to you expressly you find it hard to obey god when you find it hard to preach the gospel to tell people about jesus you are always holding back you are not confident in the gospel you are ashamed of the gospel these things are symptoms to show that you are not healthy spiritually whenever you feel these symptoms it's a sign that your love meter is low that's the first thing when you find out that 
expressing yourself for god becomes a problem telling people about god reading your bible praying you know evangelizing like i mentioned earlier you know giving fasting when these spiritual disciplines become more like a chore you are struggling it shows that your love meter is low the second thing is distance from the secret place which is what i've mentioned when you experience this distance from the secret place you cannot draw in you can't talk to god you can't you can't you, you find it hard to appear before the presence of god right and that was what happened to the first man in the beginning immediately he sinned he, he ran away from the presence of god he began to cover himself you know try to that's when you find yourself involving in other things so that you can just cover up that gap that is already obvious right you just want to try and hide that thing that is showing that you are far from god so when you experience distance um first of all i mentioned that when your spiritual disciplines when you when you are unable to carry out your spiritual discipline secondly when you were distant from the sick place you can no longer hear god you, you, do, you don't even know what god is saying when, when you are asked that oh what did god say to you? you say i don't know you're just you know you don't know what god is saying there's distance from the sick place another thing is that when there is abounding iniquity sin un unrighteousness when you just catch yourself that ah three days now in a row you've been lying consistently without any anything holding you back somebody asks you something the first thing that comes to you is a lie there was a time in my life that this happened to me i think it was over a period of two days i just realized that it wasn't like i was planning to lie but my guards were very low like i was just like ah, why did i do this so you find out that the, you just find it easy to say there's abiding abounding iniquity that is is consistent it's constant you just find yourself you are lying you you, you are getting angry you are a lot of things are wrong you are on the edge in your spirit when you find this thing, the bible says that because iniquity is abounding the love of many works go so abiding in iniquity is a sign that love is no longer there you find it easy to lie to speak evil of people to gossip to do the things that we are commanded against in scriptures that is a sign that your love meter is low another thing is constant disobedience when you find yourself disobeying express instructions or maybe not express instructions but the things that the spirit of god has convicted you of or has spoken to you about you find yourself going back to those things scripture says that if i build again the things that i've destroyed i make myself a transgressor so you find yourself going back to those things without remorse without you know you're not feeling any conviction anymore you just go back to those things things that you have left or you are just in disobedience to god yeah yeah the things that god says you should do for instance um the spirit of god nudges you to do something you go ahead to do exactly opposite when you find yourself that disobedience is coming to you naturally <laughs> you go forbid but when you find out disobedience is becoming a norm it's an emergency like your spirit man is screaming emergency emergency also when you find this intense attraction to the world i've mentioned five things i'll go over them when you find this intense attraction to the world that the things of the world now attract you you spend your entire day on instagram you're scrolling from one person's profile to the other you're checking you're attracted to the music of the world you are one of the ways i know that i'm, I'm in an emergency state is when suddenly it's like the music of this world is getting attractive to me like i'm getting more comfortable in secular songs songs that are literally vulgar not that i'm singing them but i mean i just feel like <laughs> it's not so bad man i know that is an emergency situation so when you're attracted to the things of this world the fashion of this world the, the things that um you know are, are sponsored by lust are sponsored by this the spirit of darkness the things that you know that normally if you are up there in your spiritual state in your normal state seated with christ jesus in heavenly places they would not be attractive to you the love of this world you know a lot of things you would know it's, it's not something that like um like it's something that uh, when, when it happens to you you, know, you are getting increasingly attracted to the world to the music of this world the fashion of this world the things of this world are getting more you know you're like it's not so bad you're permissive right instead of you to reprove darkness you are indulging it you're allowing it probably sometimes you might not even maybe be doing it but is you, you are getting more comfortable around darkness around the things of the world it's a sign that your love meter is low first when your spiritual disciplines are nowhere to be found second when you are distant from the secret place when there is abiding iniquity when you find out that disobedience is becoming a constant thing and then lastly i said when you are attracted to the world you find out that the world is in your eye and you 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 are finding it hard to stay away like from the things of the world it's a sign that you are in an emergency just like they will wheel somebody in when somebody's in an emergency situation 
physically in your health that's the same way you should will yourself in <laughs> to the room or to the to emergency room of the holy ghost so that something can be done about it so the, your question next is if i find myself in this situation if this is you that i just described is there any hope for me or has god forgotten about me has god you know just thrown me aside that this one is not serious or something what am i supposed to do i'm going to mention four major things and i want to beg you this this word is from god is 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 like a voice from god speaking to you i want to beg you to put these things to practice you get so that you can be able to return to where you were in god god always waits for us right the bible says behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice it would open and i will come into him if you draw near to god the spirit of god he is going to draw near to you you would experience him once again yes relationship is followed by communication and when there's a break in that communication a lot of things can go wrong but the moment you acknowledge your wrongs and then you restore communication you find out that everything goes back to usual right and you're able to cover the grounds you might have missed yes so how do i you know return back to my place in god the first thing is to trace where it started try and trace where this whole thing started it did not just begin one day many times it starts with maybe there's a disappointment or there's a prayer you have been praying for a long time it's like there's there's no answer as yet or there is hope that is deferred or there's something you expect that god should be saying something about and it's like he's not saying it it always starts from the devil attacking our soul and how does he do this when he realizes that we are desirous of something and then maybe that thing is being held back he begins to attack us with that unanswered prayers battles surrounding us maybe you are just getting off from oh a particular sickness the next minute another thing has happened the next minute and you're like god what is happening you know you are in that choked up state another thing that can that, that they can you know cause it is when you are so choked up with the affairs of this life right work is choking you up you come back from work you get uh, busy with another thing before you know another thing before you know you're on instagram one two hours and then you sleep off on instagram you wake up the next morning 5 a.m you are up again before you know you are getting choked up choked up a lot of things are going wrong so trace where it started we exactly did this lack of love for god this 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 weakness start from trace it it's important to trace it so as to avoid it when next the devil wants to use that strategy on you right because the devil does not have new strategies he keeps recycling things uh -huh. he, 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 he kind of um what's it called now? he observes people and then he realizes what can deflate your balloon and then he uses that so when you when you are not ignorant of the devices of the devil it helps you to be able to stand against every wiles of the devil i hope you understand so the first thing is to trace where it started where did this um lukewarmness this this lack of love where did it start when you trace that you are able to avoid it and you are able to recognize what exactly it is it might be that you got so busy like matter you got so busy with a lot of things you found it hard to sit before christ and before you know a lot of things had gotten into your heart this the life in the spirit is something that is active it needs to be active you get you need to stay on fire you need to stay fiery it's not a choice right and we have the holy ghost which helps us to to, to go about this life in an easy way so if you you can sit on the fence that's what i'm trying to say you need to stay fiery you cannot be hot you cannot be neither hot or cold you have to choose right you have to stay fiery because any small moment we are caught sleeping i mean this in a spiritual term the the devil will come to so tears right so we can't afford to sleep in the spirit that's what i'm trying to say and because we are humans we have limits in our humanity we have infirmities things that for instance you are weak you're sick we are not able to pray and everything that's when the holy ghost comes in to help our infirmities right so trace where it started where did all this start when you trace it it helps you to know how to avoid it next time and it also helps you to know exactly what has caused this thing right secondly is to repent revelation 2 verse 4 i want to read that out i know you have your bible revelation 2 verse 4 and five he says nevertheless jesus was once speaking to the church in ephesus and he says nevertheless i have something against you because you have left your first love remember therefore where you are falling and repent right so remember where you are falling that first thing that's the first thing i mentioned find out exactly where it all went wrong then repent ask the lord to forgive you, you might just mutter a few words and be like god i know that i'm i'm i'm, I'm designed and i'm and i'm 
designed to you know be intimate with you but i realized that a lot of things have gone wrong and uh, i've gone this way i've gone that way just talk to christ right if you draw near to him trust me and trust the scriptures he will draw near to you so repent repent of that thing that you've done repent of that 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 state of of lukewarmness when you repent what is the third thing to do is to engage the holy spirit yes engage the holy spirit i want to read from romans chapter 5 verse 5 it says and hope make it not ashamed because the love of god is shared abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost which is given to us right it is not by your strength that you just begin to say i want to love god i want to love god of course songs can help you can sing songs and everything but it's the spirit of god that sheds abroad the love of god so it begins to rekindle your fire it begins to rekindle your passion it begins to rekindle your love for god such that you are awakened to righteousness I hope you get what i'm saying you are awakened the spirit of god awakens you to righteousness every deadness in your spirit it takes it out so how do you engage the holy ghost begin by talking holy spirit i need you to help me i realize where i'm at as you're repenting you're praying i need you to quicken the fire in me i need you to light the fire again i need you to stir me up to righteousness you begin to pray you begin to speak these words because at first you might not be able to pray maybe pray as you used to or pray as you're supposed to but begin to speak as you're speaking there will be a staring inside you how, how do i know this because the bible says that out of our belly shall flow rivers of water the moment where where you maybe a bit became lukewarm or straight away or that living water did not disappear it just became still it wasn't flowing anymore that's why you are not you were not experiencing god as before but as you begin to engage the holy ghost it causes a staring on our inside right as that staring begins you 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 begin to feel alive again your spirit comes alive right because your spirit is the one that connects with the spirit of god so it comes alive and then everything begins to become normal so the holy ghost begins to shed abroad the love of christ in our hearts so that we have the capacity to love god we have the capacity to do things um out, out of love for god to uh, observe your spiritual disciplines out of love for god and what's the last thing to do we're going to be taking the word from the words of jesus the very words of jesus in revelations where i read before chapter 2 verse 5 he says remember from whence you are fallen that's the first thing i said trace where it started trace where this lukewarmness started what happened was it disappointment was it a choking up by the affairs of this world where did it start secondly it says and repent that's the second thing repent ask the lord for mercy ask the lord for forgiveness if there is a sin that has been committed ask him for mercy confess that sin and repent from it and then he says and do the first works now i mentioned to engage the holy ghost as you begin to pray there will be a staring on your inside then lastly do the first works what did you used to do before what was your way of life like how, how did you used to express yourself before in god right do you spend time to pray even if you are not feeling like praying come to that place of prayer and just talk father i'm here i have come to pray today i'm, I'm not feeling so strengthened in my spirit i need you to help me you know just communicate as if he's sitting beside you because truly the presence of god is everywhere is right beside you right so so communicate as usual do the first work go out and preach the gospel if you're finding it hard to do it like before and engage a sister in the faith somebody that you you can go out together to preach you know read your bible find a regimen a routine that works for you do the first works everything you've been doing before that communicates your love for god do it as you begin to do it the Holy spirit comes to help you in the doing i believe this 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 will greatly you know help you if you go through these processes first you trace um where it started and then secondly you repent thirdly you you engage the holy ghost and then lastly you do the first works if you put these things to practice you'll find out that your love for god you will be stable in your relationship with god you'll be stable god wants us to be stable it says uh Wherefore, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the love of God. Always abiding. So God wants us to be stable. It is not God's desire that you are up today, you are down today. Today your love for God is on the high, tomorrow is low. Yes, there are challenges, there are situations, there are a lot of things that will happen in life that will challenge our love for God. Yes, we might uh, experience losses, but we have an anchor that keeps our soul. We have something that keeps us strong, which is the Holy Ghost. The same power that raised jesus from the dead is what dwells in us imagine that the power that proceeds to the 
proceeded to the grave and brought out Jesus. That same power, God dropped it inside you. So what are you doing with the Holy Ghost? I hope this encourages you, right? And wherever this message meets you, wherever this video meets you, probably it meets you at a point where your, your, your love for God is at its lowest. It meets you, wherever it meets you, please, I want to encourage us to repent as a congregation and return back to where God wants us to be, right in the love of God. God wants us to be in the in His love. Our journey in 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 in, in Christianity, our walk with God, is powered by love, is strengthened by love. I would read from this last scripture. I think it's First Corinthians. Um, I'm coming. It just got dropped in my spirit right now. And I want to read it out to you as we round up, right? It says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 14, it says, For the love of Christ constrains us, because we judge like this, that if one person, that is Jesus Christ, died for all of us, then all of us are dead. And he died for all, so that we who now live should not live unto ourselves, but unto him who died for us and rose again. I pray that this, this be... A blessing to you and to everyone around you please share this video with everyone and i pray that god will strengthen our walk and our journey in him until we see him our path will keep shining brighter and brighter even until the perfect day god bless you and thank you for watching please if you watch till this very end share this video with somebody it's going to be a blessing to them see you in my next video Bye bye